months ago on her 10th birthday. Now, let us bow our heads in prayer. I want to be her, I want to be her, dressed in style like Clara. I can see me, can you see me? The main attraction at the picture.
fella can get a little something out on the menu. <laughs> the right price a fella can get almost anything these days. You take an IOU? Go to hell. Hiya, Bonnie. Hiya, Dad. Have <laughs> fine coffee. Thanks. Hey, listen, a friend of mine's going to a party Saturday night. Bob Mayfield. Hey, what went to some NCAA high school that's somewhere there. Maybe you remember? I don't think so. Anyway, thought maybe you'd like to go. Sure, they can have the piano. Pretty sure there's going to be a whole band. Hey, Ted. Yeah. Sheriff's on the phone. I'll uh, pick you up on Saturday. At 7. Oh, it must be great to be calm. How about I see I, if I can fix you up? Maybe you give me a lift in a West Dallas. Sure, thanks. You uh, you live in the Dallas back court? Not much longer. <laughs> I don't know anybody ever moved out of West Dallas. Well, you do now. Gladbury. Bonnie Parker. What? You have got a beautiful smile. <laughs> I bet you hear that all the time. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> so where, what are you doing? Wandering around out here in the middle of nowhere in this uh, uh, my, my car broke down at the road of ways. Damn thing goes through oil like a preacher through a whiskey. Where are you moving to? Anywhere I want. Just like the legendary Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? He was an outlaw. Why, well, yes, he was. And wasn't Billy the Kid ambushed and killed by some sheriff? He wasn't ambushed. He died an old man in the arms of a young woman. I'm pretty sure he was gunned down. Not in some hotel room. Oh, it room. don't even matter. I got plans. Everybody's got plans. Everybody's got dreams. I got plans. The men in this town live and die and are forgotten. And it doesn't seem to scare them. I can't wait to get away. Away from the drought and the homeless and the hungry where they talk about foreclosures every hot and dusty day. I don't intend to waste my life around here. Look, I'm not looking for any trouble. 
You don't gotta worry about me because I've, I've been in jail. Well, I know plenty of men have been in jail. How many of you know busted out? So what were you in for? Robbery, auto theft, a few things. I'd like to keep busy. <laughs> hey, so what do you say, huh? Give me a lift in the West Coast. The police are looking for you. Well, you're gonna be finding me. I got 50 miles away by this town tomorrow. I, I just want to see my folks before I go. Okay. You and this world will remember me. Are you crazy? Busting out of jail? How in God's name did you let Clyde talk you into fugitiving? It was my idea. Yours? I got ideas. How could you go and do this? Here I am playing the heart out and shorten your sentence. Well, the prayers were answered. This made it real short. <laughs>
jail for two years and she is miserable without her making a At first I really missed him. I thought I would waste away. Then I met this boy from Tucson and he owned a Chevrolet. He had a lot of things that my Joe liked. Like teeth and hair and cash to be inside. I'm out of my lines of hair because I can't Shut up. <laughs> hey, you're in a nightclub in that there Atlantic City. 
Me and Capone were sitting ringside, the crowd was going crazy. Somebody. No. Oh, it's the laws. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, meet me tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, 145 Oak Grove, over in Harrison. Uh, whistle. Or we'll throw something. I'll throw the second floor window on the floor. <laughs> stop by and warn you not to open your door to strangers, which you just did. So. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, thanks. Have a Jeez, good... last time I was in this house, it was when your grandma died. That was a long time ago. You know, that was the first time I ever saw a dead body. I remember she was wearing lots of makeup and all, but you can still tell she was dead. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we hid on your front porch? Eating buttermilk pie? <laughs> Playing cards. So, I will pick you up on Saturday. Uh, and ten. this door locked, all right? All right. <laughs> I think most folks would be shocked to learn just how unchristian you are in bed, Mrs. Oh, Sparrow. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that over the next eight months. Oh, time your wife goes fly by, you'll see. And I'll work, but so I'm still busy. No matter how bad things get, women always find money for their hair. <laughs> now the Norse kids haven't seen real milk in over a year. But that woman gets your calling on every two months. I love you, Blaine. I love you, Daddy. Come on, Blanche, it's just Clyde. Which makes this a criminal rendezvous point? I want him out of here as fast as possible, do you hear? He's my brother. That man puts the hell in hello. <laughs>
But I think he's coming back. Why? I think he went outside to get a girl. A girl? That's what he said. Who on earth could quite find time to meet some tart? Excuse me? This here's my brother, Buck. Nice to meet you. And this is Bonnie Parker. Nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that there is my sister-in-law, Fletch. How you feeling, Buck? You feeling strong? Why? I got some ideas. What kind of ideas? Uh, ideas gonna get you out of this dump. No offense, Blanche. Uh, I figured first thing we have a place for the payroll. Gas uh, thing. What is your problem? You know what? And then we can drive after that. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. But in Blanche, we want to start fresh. No running, no hiding, no bottles flying through windows. Well, maybe you should go back to you. How long will it be? Go back what I do. It's the only way to wipe the slate clean. You can wipe all you want, Blanche. They're never going to be clean. Don't make no difference what we do. They've been arresting us since we was kids. You've been stealing since you was kids. Even when we did it. That's true. How many times they come by our tent and haul us off for no damn reason? Plenty. And when I worked over at Macy's, Before, so what they you? come by and they pat me down right in front of the customers. Now how is a man supposed to keep a job, huh? Don't make no difference what we do. The law's going to keep on coming after us. Not you seek forgiveness. The sheriff don't give a rat's ass about no forgiveness, Forgiveness from the Lord, Clyde. That is the only oh, thing that will oh, truly oh. set you free. I ain't never gonna be set free, Blanche. Freedom is something I gotta steal. What's it gonna be, Buck? I'm going back, Clyde. I wanna start fresh. And what you gonna get when you get out? Hmm? You gonna come back here? And, and work doing what? I'm huh? picking up the scrap metal for three cents alone? Oh, we're making with part of the gas station. Praying someone rich enough to steal all the car stock by. Now what are you gonna eat? I'm gonna be in control of my life. I'm gonna live how I want. I'm gonna be open road. You have yourself a nice time locked up in that cage. Let's go shoot. Maybe your brother has the right idea. Maybe My brother have... can do whatever the hell he wants. Clyde Barry ain't never set foot inside of prison again. Maybe we go someplace else. Look, we want to get out of Dallas anyway. You could get a job someplace and work. I want you to be a man, honey, not a thug. Oh! Don't you ever speak to me that way, can you show me? Oh! Don't you ever raise a hand to me, baby. My advice to you is to stay far away from that man. Oh, don't you look at me like that, Dad. You know I'm right. He wants to descend to the depths of hell. He doesn't need to drag anyone else down there with him. Not you, not me, and not that poor misguided trash you picked up last night. I thought you said it was wrong to judge. That was not a judgment. It was an observation. <laughs> God's arms are always open. He'll not turn you away. He is there to lead the way for you through each night and day. God's arms are always open. Your voice 
somebody? Who? Clyde Barrow. Clyde Barrow? You know him? Friend of a friend. Well, I don't know who your friend is, but I can tell you Barrow's a bad seed. You do yourself a favor and keep a good distance. Thanks for the advice. Morning. How are you doing, sugar? Sorry, you've got to go through this. When you get out of here, you are going straight. You understand? Got a friend knows a guy in construction in Worcester, Mass. I would go anywhere on this earth with you, baby. If that don't work out, I mean, they got places to rob up there. Same as here. No more for this. Baby, we are going to start clean. Okay, sure. That's your picture, baby. Give you fair warning. He's no bear that throws in his bonnet. Finding the time to raise children. Hell no. He's wild and he's reckless. And nothing but trouble. But you better.
I'm in love. Mama, you're married. You and me both know Roy ain't never coming back. And I wouldn't want him if he did. How do you mean to borrow me from Nicaragua? Well, he doesn't live there. He's just staying there for a short time. <laughs> There's nothing in Nicaragua except the pet. Body pocket. You're flirting with a car. He's not flirting. What is going through your head? I love him, Ma. You love who? Who do you love? Clyde Farrell. The boy who spent the night at our home? You said he was headed up north to me. I love him, Ma. You don't know him. And what you do know ain't so good. I know him. I know him. You met a few months ago. You always said you and Daddy was love at first sight. Do not compare some content to your father. Your daddy was a fine, upstanding citizen. He earned a good living. And was a good father to you and a good husband to me. Don't you ever compare some comic to your father. I'll see you at home.
You're making the right decision. It's been six months since that little was here. Stop calling the man in jail. I will never love anybody else the way I love Clyde, Mama. You think your father was the first man I ever fell in love with? Before I was your mama, I was a girl. But I understood that love can be blind. And in this life, you need to see clear. You need to find a stable, responsible young man who can provide for you all the things you deserve of. And then love, real love, comes from that. I'm too young for a brooch, Mom. <laughs> this brooch belongs to your grandmother. That is my point. <laughs> You're making the best decision. The heart's not always right, Mom. <clears throat> Hi, buddy. Hi, Ted. I uh, like your brooch. <laughs>
He would do without you. You are the one ray of sunshine in his whole life. That a waitress from Rowena would have had the balls to bust me out with my old 45. And who would have thought that a farm boy from Toledo could outsmart the smartest lawman? And walk out of here alive. Stop! Give me the bag. Wait a minute. I gotta search you.
No one has your identity. And you cannot buy your soul back. God don't make that kind of deal. When your prayers all go unanswered. And the dust is getting worse. And you live near open sewers. With just pennies in your purse. That is when a good Lord will become your Savior. He will lead you to the light. We are all God's children. His arms always open. We must all do what is right. You make me in debt when God will I swear. But let's not forget you were made.
Dad, look at me. I, I was holding up a grocery store over in Hillsboro. Easy money, you know, in out, no one gets hurt. Grocery store, this stupid idiot cop comes in and tries to be a hero. He had his gun right on me. What happened, Clyde? I, I had no time. What happened? It was either him or me. I gotta get out now while I still can, while I'm still in the clear. The dream is still on, it's over now. Gotta get me out of here. Don't say that, we're both in shock. We need to think this through. It ain't my fault, I had no choice. Nothing I could do.
Don't you ever want it just a little bit, baby? Want what? All the things you can't have. I have everything I want, and it, it pains me that you don't, Daddy. Baby, I have everything I want, too. But there are still things I want. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to give you everything in the world. Stop that. I don't have room for everything in the world. Nice clothes, somebody doing your hair, good food, a fine bed. I mean it, that's soft. Think how nice it'd be, baby, buying anything you want. It's the American dream, sugar. I ain't interested in no American dream, Daddy. Just an ordinary life. Easy days and quiet nights. Lazy walk. Beside a stream. Now that's what you call a dream. Maybe me and you but together we can get ideas and not be friends. Happy with the way things are. No one with a scam or scheme. Now that's what you call a dream. He's dreaming.
ask your God to forgive. Sell the farms too. No one 
can afford to buy. I'll shoot you right now. Oh, what kind of stupidity? No, I lived in a tent for three miserable years. The bank took the farms and everybody I know. No money. In a bank. <laughs> the hell is this country coming to? <laughs> Clean. Governor Ferguson. The bitches killed four people and they're printing their damn poetry. There's 
no eyewitness that puts Bonnie's finger on the trigger. We look like fools! I got a warden who can't keep criminals locked up and a sheriff who can't catch them when they escape. In all fairness, don't Fairness! Two police officers and two civilians are dead. And public opinion is a body clot of damn heroes. There is no fairness, Sheriff. I swear to you, we were on their trail. Oh, I have read the reports. And you have no idea where the hell they are. Well, you know what I'm working with here. I got no money. I got no resources. I got three deputies sharing two shotguns, for Christ's sake. We almost had him at the roadblock. But the guy drives like the devil. Before you know it, he's at the state line. That's because Clyde drives the fastest cars out there while you drive the heaviest cars built. Your police cars weren't built for speed. They were built for back roads. Why, even if you call them, you couldn't get them. Who the hell are you? Frank Hamer. I contacted retired Texas Ranger Captain Frank Hamer and convinced him to accept a commission. A commission? To do what? Hunt down Bonnie and Clyde. Gentlemen. True Detectives is the cause you're looking for us in Louisiana and Missouri. Oh, and listen to this. Escaped with Bonnie Parker, the radish and redhead. Yeah, that's you, sugar. Radish. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's more than beautiful. It's you. Oh, they're saying pictures. They should have pictures go along with this. We don't want pictures. Look, sugar, the job is hard enough. Pictures is the last thing we need. It just seems a shame not to have a nice big picture of me from alongside where it says ravishing and redhead. Yeah. <laughs> or the cover. Oh, I want my picture on the cover. Who have I got to hold up to get my picture on the cover? You don't need no picture. Sugar, once someone sees your face, they ain't never gonna forget. Oh, you're just partial. Hell, I am. I start thinking about my bond. From the minute I wake up. Oh, you are so in love, baby. <laughs> and that feeling is the best I ever had. Have a song? This is a fine day. She is in my shaving mirror. She is in my coffee cup. I must be in love or else I'm going mad. This is my baby. Are you going to keep on interrupting me? I'm sorry. How am I supposed to say that? I got a rhythm of flow I got going here. <laughs> I would like to write to Bonnie, tell the girl the way I feel. But I'm better with a car than with a pen. Used to be I'm only heavy when I'm set behind a wheel. Now I don't care if I ever drive again. That girl's got such.
He's here. Hey, anyone falling? No, I was fine. Ah, oh, no! Oh, it's just Blanche. Where's your horse? They are fashionable, and they are comfortable in the car. Son of a bitch, you can! Yeah. Well, they're trying to try to talk you into coming back. Blanche! You give yourself up. I give myself up. Blanche, I get the chair. As happy as I would make you, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> hey, where do you take a look at this place? Oh, what did you see, True Detective? They called me a ravishing redhead. <laughs> redhead. Please. <laughs> that was not a judgment, Lord. Just a professional thing. <laughs> She loves you and misses you, and I, I told her we can come see you anytime she wants. We can always find a way. We, we will always find a way. I want you to know I'm going to take good care of Bonnie. I love her more than anything in this world. Oh, and also, we want you to have this. There's $50 there. I understand how hard times is, and we just want to help any way we can. I'll give you some privacy.
is in by that point. Best shop shooter this side of Mississippi. What the hell are you playing? I want to walk down Main Street with Clyde Barrett's head on a stick. You just give me that 300 yards of him. I'll put a bullet through his neck. Since when did we get in the business of murdering people? Topeka Sheriff's Office said they had a bank robbery a few hours ago. Barrett How did they know? Parker signed autographs. <laughs> Another teller was killed.
doors, guns fire, scare the shit out of them. As soon as we're fired, you start shooting up here, shoot. Baby, we're gonna get out of this, okay?
involved in the shootout with the police? Is this porch look clean to you? Mrs. Barker? No matter what I do, I just can't seem to keep out the dust. <laughs> I think Bonnie might be hurt. She's not hurt. I just saw her for Easter. She looked beautiful. You saw her? When? I don't remember too. Remember anything she said to you? Anything at all? She said, when they kill us, don't let them take me to no undertaking parlor. Bring me home. So she's coming home, Ted. I need to get everything ready. What they think I know. You're like wild horses moving around the open range. They always seem to go in the same circle. Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Louisiana, and back to Dallas. What I don't get is what are they doing in Dallas? All right, we got folks who swear they saw Bower and Parker here last April, and then before that in October, yet there are no crimes reported in or around the area. There are no signs. So what are they coming back to Dallas for? Easter? What? I think they're coming back here in April for Easter. What are they coming back for in October? Halloween? <laughs> Bonnie's mother's birthday is October 14th. You mean to tell me that two murderers are risking folks? Uh, risking, uh, captured the state of the were always real close. <laughs> we know how close Clyde was with his brother. You haven't staked out the parents' home. We never had the money or manpower. Look, you're working with the feds. Get a wiretap on the parents' phone. Take turns staking out the homes. We'll find out where the meat's got the root and find the good vantage point. We can hit that car on the road with automatics. Wait, we're just going to open fire and move the car. Yeah. No, we're not. We're going to try for an arrest. They shot their way through nine officers in Joplin, including a sheriff. Sheriff! Clyde Barron has no intention to give himself up, ever. What about Bonnie? Looks like they sealed the day she busted him out of Easton. Next time they see their folks, it'll be their last. <laughs> Just one. 
want to miss our bugs.